Did it capture? Oh, it did! It's capturing the game! Oh my god, yes, finally! Cool. We can tap to start. There we go. Start. I want to see what this game is about. Uh, is this stream? Is this stream behind? Oh, I'm behind. This work contains. Yeah, yes. The story is a work of fiction. There's no relation to blah blah blah. Sharon presents. Once upon a time, a poor woodcutter's family lived in a cabin on the edge of the forest. Um. Oh, okay, I have to click. The woodcutter and his wife had two children. The wise older brother Hansel and the lovely younger sister Gretel. Oh, wait. I have to change this. And so... Uh... Dark side, okay. Uh... Let me really quickly... They were so poor that they could not afford to eat every day. Then one evening, as soon as the two children were asleep, the wife said to the woodcutter, At this rate, all four of us will surely starve to death. We'd better abandon the children deep in the forest. In order to reduce the number of months to feed, the suggest she suggested to abandon Hansel and Gretel in the forest. The woodcutter reluctantly agreed uh, agreed to that when morning arrived. He would put the terrible plan into action. I don't know, it sounds like a great idea to me. Hansel, who happened to overhear the, their conversation, stroked Gretel's forehead as she slept peacefully and nodded in determination. Right, I can't use spacebar. I've got to protect Gretel. He slipped through the window and spent the night collecting white pebbles from the roadside. Eventually, morning came and the children were given small loaves of bread to eat. The children, along with the woodcutter and his wife, headed into the forest. They arrived at a place deep, deep inside the forest. Hansel and Gretel had been collecting twigs. Now go and wait by the fire so that you won't get cold. Papa and Mama are going to are going out to chop some woods nearby, okay? The woodcutter's wife told them to rest by the fire. Hansel and Gretel were tired and fell asleep by the warm fire. Can never be too sure. When they woke up, it was already completely dark. The woodcutter and his wife were nowhere to be seen. The children were left alone in the woods, just as the woodcutter's wife had planned. Where did Papa and Mama go? Are we left behind? Onitan. Isn't it Onichan? Or... I guess Onitan also works. Onitan, what should we do? Gretel's scared. It's alright. Don't worry about it, said Hansel, patting, Gretel's... patting Gretel on the head. Yes, as he walked through the forest, Hansel had put down the white pebbles he had collected last night. Really? You're so amazing, Onitan. With Onitan, there's nothing to be afraid of. They decided to follow the pebbles to get out of the forest. Wow, I love this art style. Holy shit. Onitan, let's go back home quickly. Gretel's stomach is rumbling already. Click on the map to explore and escape from the forest with Gretel. You can talk to Gretel by clicking on her. Let's do that. 
Onitan, what's wrong? You're staring at Gretel so much. Maybe, Onitan. Are you scared? Don't worry. Gretel will always be with you, okay? If anything happens, Gretel will protect Onitan, okay? Many tall trees are lined up in a row. They're just the right size for Papa to chop up and bring home. Wow, what a big tree! One day we'll become big like Papa and we'll be able to cut down such a huge tree. Anita, what's wrong? You're staring at girls so much? Maybe Anita, are you scared? Okay, yeah. Says the same thing. Grey smoke was rising from the uh, smoldering embers of the campfire. Grey sm Oh, what? Weird. The flame was crackling bright just a while ago. Some strange smoke is coming out too. Wouldn't it be bad to breathe it in? It's the rock I was sitting on a while ago. It was bumpy and uncomfortable to sit on. On any time, you let Gretel sit on the less bumpy... On... You let Gretel sit on the less bumpy one again, didn't you? Thanks, Anitan. I love you. I rummaged around the, in the bushes. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Anitan, what are you doing? Shall Gretel... Shall Gretel look for it together? Why? So there's nothing in there. Too bad. Wouldn't it be nice if there was something interesting in there? Is that a hint? Proceed onwards? Yes. Did Papa go home without Gretel and Onitan? Has Gretel... Has Gretel... Has really been abandoned? Is it okay to go home like this? Papa, will he smile when he sees us? Hey, Onitan, what do you think? The pebbles I dropped before have fallen on the trail. What a relief. Like this, we'll be able to go home. Onitan's marks are still here. Gretel wants to become as smart as Onitan in the future. And you know, when Gretel becomes a super duper smart... Gretel's going to marry Onitan. See the onwards. Wait, wait, actually. I'm just running the bushes. Wah! Insects are crawling all over the place. I shouldn't have done that. Onitan, you're so bad with bugs, aren't you? Mr. Bug tastes sour when they're... But he's really delicious. Onitan, won't you try some too? Pebbles, I dropped a phone... Yeah, I know. See it onwards? Yes. Ah, look, Onitan. There's a bunny. How cute. Gretel wants to touch it. It looks so fluffy and yummy. Yummy? Uh, Gretel? Oh. Usa provides safe point for the whole nation. Usa is a bunny that can speak Japanese. Amazing. Who's amazing? Oh, uh, Usa for Usagi. And also, you can speak Japanese because the game is origin in Japanese. You can save at any time by clicking the rabbit. Uh, by clicking the rabbit button in the bottom co corner. Wow, yummy. Hey, Onitan, can we eat this? Can we eat this save bunny? Gretel's tummy is hungry. U Usa? Usa doesn't taste good at all, Usa. Don't forget I can help you save Usa. Sheep, you see these pebble? Follow those quickly. Uh, follow those and quickly go back home. Sheep, for the love of God, don't take the wrong road. What awaits at the end of... What awaits at the end of the wrong road is death. Onitan, doesn't this bird look tasty? Let's quickly catch it and have it grilled and have grilled meat. Sheep, help me, sorry. 
I want to save. Save right here. That way I can go to... This is another path. We won't make it home unless we follow the pebbles. Juanita, that's not the way home. Or do you want to live together with Gretel in the middle of the forest? Living together with Juanita and... Gretel doesn't mind at all. I don't mind. I want to die. Fine. See it onwards? Yes. Fine. The flowers smell really sweet. Gretel loves the smell of flowers. Juanita, of course you like it too, right? Next time, Gretel will make a flower crown for Onita as a present. Then, we'll play make-believe together. Onita can be the prince, Gretel will be the princess. Forest is dimly lit. We don't pay attention, the shadows of the trees look like ghosts. It's getting windy. Can we hold hands, Onita? Squeeze. Like this, we'll never be separated for sure. My flowers are blooming in the meadow. Look, look, Anitan. Flowers are flowers are blooming. It's beautiful. Can we take some back home? Mama loves flowers, so she'll be happy for sure. Yes. Here's one for you too, Anitan. See the onwards go. Anitan, look over there. We made it home. Let's go home. Thank goodness. Now we can see Papa and Mama again. I'm so happy. The sign said Woodcutter's House. It's the house where the four of us, me, Gretel, Papa, and Mama, live together. Papa and Mama are already asleep, it seems. Let's play a prank on them, Anitan. It's payback for leaving us in the woods. Oh god. I bet our prank is gonna be like, like fucking burn the house down. The wood Papa collected is all stuck, stacked up in one place. Gretel wanted to help Papa with his work. Gretel's sad there's not much she can do to help. If she could help Papa and Mama just a little bit, we wouldn't be kicked out of the house for sure. It's a well that hasn't been used in years. It's all dried up and crusty. Juanita, why is Gretel's family so poor? Mama said that if we had a lot of money, we'd be really happy. Wouldn't it be nice if we could make lots of money? There's a stream running near the house. Water is too muddy to be used as drinking water. The gretel reflected in the water looks a bit mean. Onitan, what do you look like reflected in the water? I, I'm curious actually, but I guess we won't know. Proceed onwards, yes. Thanks to the pebble guiding their way, the two of them were able to make it back home safely. However, the nightmare was not yet over. Even though they came back, the situation of his family hadn't changed. At the limit of hunger, the woodcutter and his wife decided to take the children into the woods again. When Hansel learned that the two of them were plotting again, he tried again to slip out through the window and collect pebbles. But to his surprise, it was locked and he couldn't collect them. As he headed deep into the forest, instead of pebbles, he saw a small piece of his bread and dropped it onto the road. They arrived back in the deep, deep forest and different a different, more dangerous area than before. Hansel and Gretel had been collecting twigs. Now go and wait by the fire so that you won't get cold. Papa and Mama are going out to chop some wood nearby, okay? The woodcutter's wife told them to rest by the fire. Hansel and Gretel were tired and fell asleep by the warm fire. When they woke up, it was completely dark. The woodcutter and his wife were nowhere to be seen. The children were left alone in the woods just as the woodcutter's wife had planned. Papa and Mama are gone. 
Have they left? Have they left us behind again? Onitan, what should we do? Gretel's scared. It's all right. Don't worry," said Hansel, patting Gretel on the head. Yes, as he walked through the forest, Hansel had put down the breadcrumbs to act as markers. Wow, Onitan, you're so amazing. Onitan is Gretel's hero. Following the markers, the two of them decided to leave the forest. Come on, Ethan. Let's go back home quickly. It'll be alright. We just need to follow the markers. Uh, like before, right? Click on the map to explore. And escape from the forest with Gretel. Onitan, are you alright? Don't worry. I mean, we just need to follow Onitan's markers this time, too. You know, if Onitan's here... Gretel won't be scared no matter where she goes. As long as she's with Onitan, Gretel doesn't mind if we don't go back to that house. It's the rock I was sitting on a while ago. It was bumpy and uncomfortable to sit on. That girl sat on the less bumpy one again, didn't you? Thanks, Onitan. Next time, Gretel. Next time, Gretel will sit on the bumpy one. Then there'll be there'll only be half the pain. That's better. That's better. And then. Gretel and Onitan will be the same. Onitan, I love you. Okay. Grey smoke rose from the smoldering embers of the campfire. The campfire was, war was warm. The campfire was warm, wasn't it? Looking at the fire, it doesn't warm just Gretel's body, but it makes her feel warm inside. Why is that? You tell me. I rummaged around the bushes. There doesn't seem to be anything useful. Onitan, watch your step. Papa said that he once saw a snake in the forest. He said if you step on the snake, it might bite and kill you with poison. That's scary. Girl doesn't want to be poisoned to death. I'm just gonna save. Just in case. Many tall trees are lined up in a row. They're just the right size for Papa to chop up and bring home. Look, there's a big tree over there. Papa would be so happy to see it. Alright, let's keep going. I want to keep going. I did not. See onwards, yes. In the dark forest, many trees are standing in a row. It's very creepy, but I feel safer with Gretel here with me. Hey, Onitan, there seems to be someone standing over there. No, it's not my imagination. There's definitely someone there. Maybe someone's living deep in the forest. In the dark forest, my oh, I thought. Just see downwards, yes. Huh? Onitan, this is bad. There's no bread. Why? Did someone eat it? Oh no, the breadcrumbs that Hansel dropped had become food for the small birds. Hansel and Gretel were now truly lost and were puzzling over which was the correct route. From here on, you must play Hansel's role and lead the way. Cheap. Phew, I'm stuffed. Hey, Onitan. This bird must have eaten all the bread. Ch cheap. Ah, it was those two from last time. Gretel knew it. We should have gone with grilled chicken last time. Oh my god. <laughs> but maybe it's not too late for that. Ah, it's the bunny. Us Usa provides safe point for the nation. Care to save Usa? Onitan, since we're here, why don't we save here? Even if Onitan dies later on, we can always start over again from here. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, alright. Make sure you want to go this way. Once you choose, you can't go back. Uh, yes I can. I just saved. Hey, hey, Onitan. Does... 
What does death feels like feel like? Does that mean Gretel's not going to uh, be here anymore? It's strange, isn't it? You know, if Gretel is, is together with Bonita, and Gretel isn't scared of death. White flowers are blooming in the meadow. It's a small pretty flower. What's his name again? Wow, what a cute flower. Don't worry, I won't pick you up, Mr. Flower. I'm just looking. Because all the flowers that Gretel picks, they all wither up. That's so sad. See the onwards, let's go. Oh? We still haven't arrived home yet. Are we really going the right way? I don't think we are. Gretel's getting a little bit worried. There are tall weeds growing here. I found a ladybug perched in one of their leaves. Ah, it's Miss Ladybug. The dots are so cute. Gretel wants to eat them. Don't you think so too, Onitan? As I gazed blankly at the cliff's face, something jumped out at me. Wow! It was, it was a surprise, but it was just a bug. It tickles! Onitan, so cute! See the onwards? Yes. We're so dead. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Gretel's not here. Did we get separated? I'm sure we went into the cave together. Where'd she go? Don't tell me she's playing a prank on me. You're trying to scare me, but it's no use. What a laughable joke. The inside of the cave is damp and gloomy. Just where has Gretel gone? I've looked everywhere for her, but I can't find her. See it onwards? Yes. Oh. Well, hello. The next thing Hansel knew, a girl in the black robe was standing in front of him. Why are you here? Isn't there a saying in the village that you shouldn't enter this forest? Hansel explained the situation to the girl. The girl nodded her head and looked at Hansel with eyes that seemed, that seemed to see through everything. So you're not from the village, then how did you sneak in here? So you've been advanced? So you've been abandoned. Poor thing. Hey, do you want to get out of this forest? The future you want may not be here. But do you still want to get out? Yes. I see. Then, you can go and see how it ends. The desire you wished for. There's a small trail in the woods up ahead. That should lead you straight to the exit. Now go. The girl said... Said that and disappeared into the forest. Hansel went straight down the path, just as the girl said. It felt like an eternity for him, who had lost Gretel. Then, he suddenly sees something and starts running. What in the world? At the end of the road, he saw a familiar house. But Gretel isn't here. Science said Woodcutter's house. There's no doubt in my mind, I'm back. I... I wanted to come back together with Gretel. If it were true, she would be right next to me. Why did it come to this? I... I want to come to... Can I... Enter? Open the door? Yes. As Hansel was about to open the door, he heard the sound of laughter from inside the house. Congratulations. It was a big success. There's no Hansel to get in the way anymore. Now we just have the right amount of mouths to feed. Well done, Gretel. Well done. Poor Gretel. How hard it must have been for you to abandon your brother. Really, what an awful thing to go through. No. It's okay, as long as Papa and Mama are happy, Gretel can do anything.
You traitor. You traitor. <laughs> oh. That was the true end? You're still alive, question mark? That was the tr First of all, how did I get the true end on the first try? <laughs> that's uh, that's my biggest question. How the fuck did I get the true end on the first try? Um, I guess we... Let's take the opposite route. Alright, let's go over here. Oh shit. Is this the right path? Hey Onitan, you know Gretel has been thinking a bit. For sure, going home is a bad idea. You know, Papa and Mama threw us out because we are bothers of them, right? Gretel's an unwanted child, isn't she? See it onwards, yes. Huh? Ah, oh, look, Anitan. There's a cave over there. I wonder if someone lives inside. Come on, Anitan. Let's go in. See downwards? Yes. Please don't tell me they all lead to the same thing. Oh. No, never mind. She's here. This cave is just right. Let's get some rest here. Gretel's feeling a bit tired. Let's rest a bit. You wouldn't leave Gretel all alone, Anitan. See downwards? Yes. No, I would. Cause I'm... Oh? Look, Onitan, there's a house over there. Gretel wants to rest in that house right now. If it's empty, Gretel will turn it into her house. It's almost done. I think the sky is getting a little bit brighter. How long have I been walking in this forest? My feet are exhausted. Phew. Gretel's getting really sleepy. There's a house standing by itself in the forest. No matter how I look at it, it's unnatural. Who could have built it? Hey, Onitan. Why are you making such a difficult pace? We might finally get a good meal in the bed. Be happier. Go. Cool. See it onwards? Yes. There was a small hole in the wall of the mysterious house. Where Gretel was peering through the hole with great interest. Onitan, look! There are lots of people. And everyone seems happy. Hearing this, Hansel did the same and peeked, peeked into the hole. There were many naked men and women inside the house. Everyone seemed to be having fun dancing an unknown dance. Hey Nard, how you doing? As Hansel gazed at this scene, color dreamed from his face immediately. He felt that what was happening in this house was abnormal. I've seen something that I shouldn't have. Hansel felt uncomfortable, so he pulled Gretel's hand away from the place. However, Gretel was in, in trick entranced by the scene inside the house and refused to move. Onitan, this house seems so delightful. Hey, let's go in, okay? Even though he said no, Gretel wouldn't listen. And then, just when Hansel was about to be fed up, to their surprise, the door opened and a man came out. Well, 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 my little visitors. You shouldn't be here. What are you doing out here in this place? Gretel's been looking at this house because it looks fun. Is it okay if we go in and play? <laughs> what a lovely young lady. You're welcome. Come on in. I'm sure they'll all be glad to have some company. Gretel walked in happily into the house. The man taking her by the hand. <laughs> Who the fuck just opened the door, Satan? And you? What will you do? The man asked Ansel. As soon as the man 
stared at him with his eyes with his eyes like a snake, Hansel got scared and began and began running. Hansel ran through the forest until he was exhausted. Hansel continued running, fell down, fell down, got covered in mud, and screamed, but no but no voice came out. Oh right now, Gretel must be out of Hansel's reach, out of anyone's reach, she was... Those snake-eyed men might be doing terrible things to her. Maybe she's crying and calling out her brother's name. She couldn't help... He couldn't help but think that even at this moment, his beloved sister was being violently devoured. His head was filled with all kinds of almonds... premonitions. Eventually, completely exhausted, he slipped away into the bushes and burst into tears. How could he have let this happen? He blamed himself. As he tried to catch his breath, suddenly he hears the voice of his beloved person. Dan. Oni Dan. Hansel slowly opened his eyes and... Okay. To his astonishment, Gretel was standing right in front of him. Oni Dan, you know... Gretel has something she really needs to tell you, Onitan. Why did you abandon Gretel? Didn't you say we'll be together forever? Liar, 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 yeah. Well, damn. Okay. Damn. True and strange house. Are they all true heads? <laughs> Hold up. Okay. I guess we'll do this one. Are you sure you want to go this way? Once you choose, you can go back. Yeah. Why? All the paths look the same to Gretel. Can we really get out of here? But if we stay here, Gretel can stay with Onitan forever. But Gretel doesn't want to die here. I don't see anything unusual in the grass. Wow, Gretel just heard a rustling sound over there. I... It's true. It really was there, it's not a lie. The forest is buzzing, is buzzing with noise, as if trying to scare us. You know, sometimes the shadow of the trees look like ghosts. Why? Is it because Gretel's scared? Even though Gretel has Onitam beside her? See it onwards? Yes. My flowers are blooming. I believe the name of this flower is, is Jasmine. Mona taught me about that a long time ago. Why? The flowers are so pretty and cute, but... Gretel just can't seem to pick flowers and play with them like usual. Picking flowers is the same as killing them, isn't it? Technically, yes. Gretel's starting to understand how flowers feel. See, the onwards go. I'm so curious about all of these endings. Oh? can't find Gretel. She was just here a while ago. Where in the world did she go? I looked all around, but I couldn't see her figure. I wonder if she was taking care of business somewhere else. Gretel, just where did you go? I'll, tr I'll try to search all over the forest. But I can't find her. She's nowhere to be found. Don't tell me you've gone off somewhere without me. That idiot. Didn't you say we'd always be together? There are no footprints on the tra on the trail or the grass that could be Gretel's. Don't tell me I'm the one who left her behind. I decided to go back the way I came. I turned around and stopped in my tracks. I don't know the way I came. I think I've completely lost my way. Proceed onwards, yes. There's a flower field. Not only the jasmines that I saw earlier, but 
the colorful flowers were blooming. Hydrangea, daffodil, ivy, anemone. Those are the only ones I knew. I'm sure Gretel would have loved to see them. I was getting, it was getting even darker. The more I walk, the more I feel like I'm being lured deeper into the forest. I wonder how Gretel is doing. She's probably crying right now because she got separated from me. I'm worried. I, sh I strain my ears to hear the sound of her crying. But all I can hear are the leaves swaying in the wind. Proceed onwards. I walked and walked. But I couldn't find Gretel. I feel like I've been going around in circles for a while now. As if lured in by something, I went deeper and deeper into the forest. There could be something out there. There could be a better future than right now. Although, in any case, such a convenient thing doesn't exist. There's no future for me without Gretel. I was walking aimlessly when I stumbled over something and fell. A familiar blue ribbon was tangled around my feet. This belongs to Gretel. I looked everywhere for her, but she's not here. She's not there. Maybe she's already. A deep despair fills my head. I'm so hungry and weak. I can't walk. I can't even walk anymore. I stopped and sat down at the base of a large tree, waiting for it to end. I. I had decided on that day that I would protect Gretel, but in the end, I'm sitting here pathetically unable to protect anyone. I wonder how many days had passed. This life of mine, born unwanted, is now about to end. Soon, death is beckoning me, beckoning for me. I held Gretel's ribbon tight. I love, I loved, I loved you. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you at the very end, Gretel. I gently closed my eyes and fell asleep. True end. Lost in the forest. And the last one I haven't checked, I think, is this one. Yes. Go. Yeah, this was a very short game. If you can even call it a game. Juanita, you know, Gretel was just thinking about something. How about we just run away together? It might be surprisingly fun that way. I don't see anything unusual in the grass. Gretel has been thinking lately. It feels like someone's been watching us for a while now. Don't say creepy things like that. The trees are rustling and swaying eerily. I think I felt the presence of a person in the forest. Wasn't there someone over there just now? That's weird. Is it just Gretel's imagination? Proceed onwards, yes. Gretel's already at her limit of hunger. Onitan, your tummy's also been growling for a while now. Would you like... To eat Gretel's hand? It might not be very delicious though. When I took my eyes off her for a moment, Gretel was happily picking flowers. Gretel wants to live in this forest forever. Because that way we can live together forever without Papa and Mama getting in our way. Here, I made a flower crown. I'll give it to you, Onitan. The wind the wind is picking up. It's nighttime. It's a little chilly. Juanita, why are you in such a hurry? There's no way we could be happy. Even if we go back to that house. It doesn't matter what happens to Papa and Mama anymore. See Donuts. I didn't think Gretel would be the creepy one, but... In the end, that's exactly it. A hatchet is stuck in the thick stump. Looks like it's Papa's... It looks like Papa's, but it's different. So there's other wood cu cutters than Papa. Gretel didn't know that. 
Hey, this axe, why don't we take it? It might come in handy. And you just left it there. There's a stump, just big enough for one pers person to sit on. Chopped wood was gathered uh, together in a corner. Phew, somehow Gretel feels a bit tired. Gretel would just sit on that stump over there and rest. Anita, why don't you take a why don't you take a why don't we take a break together? Looks like this is where the woodcutters do their work. Maybe Papa comes here to cut wood. Papa and Mama, aren't you sad that you left Gretel behind? You really don't feel anything at all, huh? See downwards go. Oh. Onita, you're shaking. Don't worry. Anything that threatens Onita and Gretel is going to kill them all. Because Gretel will protect Onita. The lake is filled with crystal clear water. This water might be okay for us to drink. Ah! Onita, Gretel has been to this lake before. Gretel went to this lake with Mama to fetch water. Okay, so we're at the house, basically. See you on the go. Do it. <gasps> oh, this is from the actual Hansel and Gretel story. Wow, amazing! What a cute house over there! And it smells so good! Who lives in here? Juanita, let's take a peek. It's a good thing there's a house here, thank goodness. Gretel doesn't want to get caught in the rain anymore. It's so good to sleep somewhere with a roof on your, over your head. In the middle of the forest, there's a cute little house standing all by itself. A soft sweet scent drifts through the air. Grumble. My stomach rumbled most modestly. Juanita, you're hungry too. That house smells so good, maybe there's food in there. Let's go, Anita. It's a very pretty house. Not a very... It's not very big, so it doesn't look like anyone lives there. Hey, look, Anita. This house is made of candy, see? Amazing. Is Gretel dreaming? Come here, Anita. Quickly, quickly. Let's eat together. Try in the candy house? Sure. <coughs> yep. There's the witch. Wait, isn't, hold on, isn't she the, um, the same girl that appeared in the other ending, but like she was younger and now she's older? She had the same hair color, right? I think so. Who is it that's eating my house without my permission? Wow, you scared us, Granny. Who are you? I live in this house all by myself. You came at just the right time to kill my boredom, so come on in. I have sweets, juice, fruit, everything. You children must be hungry too, no? Really? Thanks, Granny. Thank goodness, Onita, she's going to treat us. When they entered the house, the old woman offered them drinks and sweets. Come on, eat up. There's seconds as well. When they were full, they fell asleep in the soft bed Granny had prepared for them. The old woman smiles at Hansel and Gretel's sleeping faces. <laughs> Which one shall I eat first? It's been a long time since I had a treat. The Granny was a cannibal witch. While she was asleep, she locked Hansel up in the big bird cage. Granny knocked on Gretel and yelled at her. How long are you going to sleep? Hurry up and prepare a pot to boil your brother in. Oh my goodness. Sadly, Gretel had to help with the process of cooking Hansel. Gretel was so sad that she could hardly move. Gretel, why are you dilly-dallying about? How long are you going to keep your mouth shut? Give me a break. Yeah, don't worry about the pots. Just go into the stove and watch over it. Granny. You know, Gretel doesn't know how to light the stove. What a silly little girl you are. 
Look, this is how you do it. Watch me. The old woman then sticks her head into the stove. At that moment, Gretel took the opportunity and pushed the old woman's old woman as hard as she could. Well, that I wasn't expecting. The old woman fell into the fire, screamed and burned to death. Foolish granny. Gretel won't let you eat Onitian. Onitan. After burning the witch to death, Gretel ran to Hansel, who was locked in the birdcage. And she's going to cook me. Relax, Onitan. That annoying old lady is gone now. Once Hansel was able to get out of the birdcage, he hugged Gretel tightly. Onitan, <laughs> so happy. Gretel did her best for Onitan, you know? There are many treasures inside the strange house made of candy. Okay, here's the thing, right? How did the granny know Gretel's name? And why didn't the granny lock up Gretel in the cage along with Hansel? Gretel was in on it, I'm telling you. Gretel was in on it. Hansel stuffed as much of it into his pocket as he could. As he opened the door to bring it back to Papa and Mama. Onitan, where are you going? No, this treasure is for Onitan and Gretel to live here forever. Gretel won't let you take it back to Papa and Mama. Because we don't have to go back to that house anymore, remember? Why won't you listen to Gretel? Why are you looking away? Do you not like Gretel? That's not true, see? Onitan loves Gretel too. Loves her very much, right? Gretel believes in you, Anitan. Don't betray Gretel, alright? <laughs> There's no one to get in our way now. So let's... So let's make love together all the time, Anitan. That's weird. After defeating the terrible witch, Hansel and Gretel lived happy ever after in the house of sweets. Bad end. A happy tale. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse the shit out of me? <laughs> all of the all of the all of the fucking endings where we die have been true ends. And I can't read that. Someone translate, please. Okay. <laughs> the only ending where we live happily ever after is a bad end. Were we playing as a witch the whole time and we just didn't know? Is that what happened? What is this? Hold on, someone translate this, if you can. Oh! Oh, I know this! I have- I have this game! Or this visual novel. Isn't this one where... Haven't all- Didn't Hololive members voice in that one? I have this! Hold well on! Yeah, I have it on my phone. I didn't know that was made by Sharon. Yeah, oh my god! I've had this game for like a year. What? I I swear I've had that fucking game on my phone for who knows how long. I I, I remember seeing the like some Hollow Knight members. I think Matsuri voiced in it. Like they like I think they voiced in it, right? They got like their own like characters too. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I... What the fuck?